Good morning, folks. Welcome to Saving Miller. Bright and early. First day of April. This year has gone by pretty quickly. Uh, a lot has happened on the farm. And uh, I know some of you uh, saw our video a year ago about how uh, we decided that we're going to, you know, we're going to give this up and we're too close to the... Uh, too close to the city and too reliant on the supply chain, we need to uh, further become self-sufficient and move to the desert and do it ourselves. Well, over the year, the supply chain issues have continued to be a problem. Uh, the world comes to a screeching halt because some ship got jammed up in a canal in Egypt. So that's kind of ridiculous, you know? But it's a, definitely an illustration of how important it is to understand your supply chains, understand where your food is coming from, where your electricity is coming from. I'm talking about you, Texas. Um, you know, where your water is coming from. Big deal for us. Um, our, our water here actually comes from the Colorado River. I believe our drinking water and our irrigation water both come from the Colorado. There is some supplement uh, from the, I believe it's from the Agua Fria River locally here, but we're quite dependent on infrastructure to get that water here. And uh, that's not a great thing, honestly. I'm very well aware of the situation. Um, and I don't like it. So I wish we had our own water. I wish we had a river or a, a, small, a small river coming by that we actually would get our water from. That would be ideal. But, hey, that's the situation. That's where we are right now. So we'll have to figure out in the future what we're going to do. Um, you know, this year, the 1st of April is a day I always enjoy. I always, uh, you know, something, something happens. Um, I, I, I did a good one. Um, a number of years ago, I told my wife that uh, uh, we're moving to California, and then uh, and she wasn't too happy about that. And, and you know, then I mentioned, hey, it's April first. So so then uh, you know, she was she was very upset about that. Uh, did not think it was funny at all. Uh, but she got over it, and about two weeks later, I said, no, actually, yeah, we are moving to California. So I feel, I feel like that was sort of the best the best uh, April 1st uh, announcement that I, I had. <sighs> Apparently, our dog has decided to do the same thing. So I come out this morning, and I see this. So our fierce guard dog apparently become friends with that coyote. What good is that? No barking. This makes me so mad. And I know coyotes will do this. And they'll turn on the dog later. So I'm not quite sure what to do about this. So this is the second time that I've seen this. And as you saw, the coyote comes under the fence. Now, I know the video is not great because of the situation, but this is actually the second time that this has happened. And I'm going to have to do something. Our big fierce guard dog is not... She's friends with the animal. And so, I'm not quite sure what this is going to look like. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to have to do to uh, rectify the situation. We've got to keep the coyotes out. Now, to be fair, um, we still have not had any issues with the chickens and ducks. But, uh, yeah, I think I got pranked this year. She eats a lot of dog food. She eats about $50 worth of dog food every month. So, uh, this is an expensive coyote friend, I'm afraid. Well, let's take a walk out here in the pasture. So, 
cows need their grass. The rye is growing nicely. Definitely is not growing as well as it did last year. We have had almost no rain this spring. Uh, we had uh, well, one or two days. Last spring, we had a lot more rain and therefore a lot more weeds. Hi, Luna. So Luna has learned to respect the fences, the electric fences. She knows exactly where these are. She pays attention and she does not, uh, she does not mess with them. So I'm thinking, hi puppy. Do you know you're worthless and you're coming to apologize? This does, this situation gives me an opportunity though that coyote ran around the corner right here. And so I'm thinking we may be able to turn this into a, uh, a win yet. I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to see what I can do. So this grass, this rye grass, this is why I really like it. There's some perspective. You can see how long it is. The cows have been, let's see, they were here probably about two weeks ago. So not a lot of rest time for the grass, but rye grows very quickly in the spring. So what's strange is these, these dogs over here, the neighbor's dogs, you can probably hear that guy. They're pretty good at barking at the coyotes too. But strangely enough, maybe this one particular one is a local friend. So I think I uh, I think I may recruit some help and we're gonna we're gonna rectify this situation. Luna has decided she's a, a cow, so she hangs out here with the cows a lot of the time. Well, I know a lot of you have probably been uh, watching the video, waiting for the next crazy announcement that uh, that I have. But this year, I guess that's it. I don't have an April Fool joke for you. So if you were expecting one, well, happy April 1st. <laughs> well, I got things to do. It's going to be a very busy day. Got to get this video edited and and uh, uploaded so I gotta go. Saving Miller out.